here we go with the final few bits of Alexander the Great. Um, we've just had Perseus of Thessalian and Demilus of Mega Megalopolis and this other guy, Perilous, have been sent by the king to deliver a message. So, Kui, these people, Kum, when the Mandata would have been entrusted to them or the mandate of the king, here we have the king, this had been uh, delivered or handed over, he disoriented, uh, the plural. Non alata positurus armor equat. So these knights here, the cavalry people, here's the future of them in the accusative plural. They will not place down their arms, uh, not differently, non alata, then if rex, then C rex, um, would hand over, de disset, the authors of this discord or the the problematic people. Um, Tulare responsum. So this was his um, his response to them. His renuntatus sua sponte milites arma capiunt. So soldiers here of their own accord sua sponte. Here's the little blade of absolute. When these these messages were announced, in uh, announced, then the, the rebit just means sent back. So. The message of the king here, which he sent back his response, this was received. The soldiers of their own accord, they capiunted their arms. They took up arms of their own will. Quorum tumultu e regia. You see two ablatives in this little section. Philippus excitatus. He's past passive here, so he's the nominative. Philippus was excited or called about from the regia, which is like the palace or the royal tent, the royal quarters. Uh... This ablative means from the tumult or this um, upsetting noise, quorum, of which uh, is the relative there. So, Philip has decided to inquit. He said something. He said, Nihil sedition est opus. Uh, opus est means is needed and it takes an ablative. So he said, there's no need of a sedition. He has said when he's come out of this royal quarters uh, because of this... Um, tumult of the soldiers taking up arms. Nam interse, for amongst themselves, curtantium, we'll take that as a genitive, and pramia is the reward, and we have qui, these are the people who quiverent, these are the people who are resting, or are they at rest or they're quiet, they will occupabunt, bobis bunt, we know is a future, they will t seize this uh, reward, of those who are contesting inter se amongst themselves. So he's like, let them fight it out and we'll rest, and those people who rest will take the reward. Mm. Simul, at the same time, memen ote, this is a future imperative plural. So it says, remember, se, which you take uh, with a head verb usually, something that goes on your head, so it's a, a right oblique. So this is the rem, the matter, the circumstances, or the thing to do. Uh, cum civibus, with the citizenry. Uh, uh, remember this at the same time, when with the citizens. Quibus, uh, the same sort of relative here we see. Um, spem gratia cito abrumpere. Uh, to seize away quickly, a spam, which is the hope of, uh, sometimes gratia's influence and stuff, it probably means grace here. Yeah, yep, that's what the lobe uses. So, to uh, quickly... Uh, steal away any hope of uh, a grace is ad bellum civil as to civil war propanta uh, proper antium est this is of those who are hastening to civil war uh, propera as we know is a word for in a hurry or haste um, altura legation is another ablative so with another legation with an alternate legation these are like deputies or envoys and it means whether, mitigare, this is the infinitive, possint is the verb that takes the infinitive, whether it is possible to mitigate this situation, that experiment, or we shall test. Uh, we shall test with another legation if it's possible for this to be mitigated. Et credo, and I believe, non dum, not yet, regis corpore sepulto, so this is ablative, so with the body corpore sepulto buried, so, and I believe with the body regis of the king not yet buried, ad pray standa ei uh, to him justa omnis es qui churis. Okay, so that uh, means um, it's not the future coming together. Um, 
this priest stander, it looks the Gerundi version of what is owed to him or what should be given to him. So I guess this is the justa, this is the just thing that omnis, all people should be coming together to do the just thing for him, which is owed to him or should be given to him. Um, this would be the body of Alexander, which is unburied yet. Quod ad may attendant. You'll see this in the downloads for the impersonal verbs. Uh, what attains to me or pertains to me or what concerns me. Red array to give back usually hoc imperium. Malo. Yeah, here we go. I prefer to red array give up hoc imperium. Imperium's a neuter. Um, quam than exeray the um, infinitive to exercise sangui with the blood ablative of the citizens okay so daily dictionary is coeo comes from eo it's irregular so it's at the beginning of the downloads in the with the um third as well the third conjugation and the irregulars are put together sample meet come together join a ally with unite so basically they're all massing together coming together and that's it basically it's pretty simple um, et si null alia, and if there's no other spares, if no other spares, is, no other hope is of concordia, this is a, coming together to harmonizing an agreement. Um, oro, quaesque, you see this often together. I beg and beseech, it's usually translated as, sometimes it's just, they use quaeso to say please. Elegite, we have, just as a bit up here, we have a future imperative plural. Uh, choose potiorem, someone more capable comes from the adjective for potus, so it's a comparative. Abortus de inde, so de inde, so then, abortus lacrimus, with tears arising, abortus means arising or beginning, uh, he detracted, detrahited the diadem, which is a type of crown or diadem, I think we call it in English, capiti, from his head. The dexterum, which is his right hand, quae id tenebet, which... Um, he was uh, ten about him. He was grasping id it. Uh, that's the neuter version of. I think it's going with his diadem, which he was holding, uh, and he protended. So he extended his hand, his dexterum, his right hand, which he was holding it. Ut so that see quiz. If there's anyone, say dignorium, so is more worthy. Um, that might be comparative. Say than him. Um, if anyone profited, so if anyone confessed or thought that they were more worthy, a keeper it, that they should accept it. <clears throat> in gentem spam, this huge hope in the accusative, in dolus of his nature, uh, ante eum diem, I'm guessing that eum is going with the day, before eum day, before that day, fratris claritate suppressor, was suppressed or oppressed or overwhelmed by the clarity, which is like brilliance or fame, fratris of his brother, um, tam moderata, so, so moderate an oration, oratio, excited this uh, ingentem spam. So this, a hu this moderate oration or speech um, excited a huge hope of his nature, which before that day had been overwhelmed by the fame of his own brother, looks like. Itikui, and so, cuncti, it's plural, so all of them, the cuncti, they co reparented, they began, Taking the infinitive to instare, to insist or to press in, ut so that, quae ad gatisse, that's pretty perfect. So, that whatever he wanted to execute, whatever he wanted to follow, so that he would follow up the things which he was cooking up, basically, which he was agitating in his brain, um, so that he would follow up with the things he was planning, it looks like. Eos dem rursus, so rursus again, the eos dem, if you know your pronouns, it's the same people. O shows it's male, and the Oz show it's plural accusative. Um, Legat, he chose them, Petuturus, again, this future, which is going on, um, that they should seek, or that, oh, I suppose, Maligrum Tertium Ducum. Maliga would be the third leader, or excipient. They would accept uh, Maliga as the third Ducum, as the third general or leader. Horde Agare, with not difficulty, here to this, et petratum est. This was asked for and obtained. Nam et. For also, abducere comes from ab, meaning away, and ducere to lead. It's an infinitive. 
Uh, Maligram, the accusative, Perdica. Okay, so Perdica here is the nominative. He was cupia batting. He was desiring, taking the infinitive, to lead away Maliga, a reggae from the king. Et unum duobos imparem futurum esse sensibet. And he was thinking that as one person in the futurum, in the future, he would be in parem. He would be unequal comparative to duobos, to two of them. So that's why he's trying to separate them. Igator, so therefore, maligro cum phalange, this is the, more of a Greek spelling of the phalanx, uh, cum with the ablative means with, along with, obviam means meeting, usually takes a dative, um, egresso, so maligro has egresso, had gone out with his phalanx, um, looks like Perdic is going to meet him, equitum ter termas, and his seeds occur. So Perdica met him, Antecedent means going out in front of, um, with a termas, which is a squadron, equitum, which is genitive plural of horses, of his uh, cavalry. So in normal English, you'd say um, they met, one with a phalanx and the other at the head of a squad of knights or something. And nearly finished off, um, what is it, must be chapter 8 of book 10. Uptum qui, so to both of them, agmen, the columns, Mutua salute chains is there, exchanging mutual greetings, factor coit. Coit was the, um, from coming together, it was a daily dictionary word. So, with a fact, or the, if you want to take the F off it, you've got an act, <laughs> an actor, okay, um, how do I put that back in now, type it in. Um, so, with them coming together and greeting each other, uh, each other's column, in perpetuum, you know, it's pretty much the same in English, uh, ut Arbitrant, as they were thinking, tell it's plural from the NT, uh, it's the passive version. So they were thinking that in the perpetua, uh, fermata, they've strengthened, it's ablative again, with the concord and peace. So um, they greeted each other, thinking that there would be this firm compact of peace and harmony into perpetua, which means forever, basically. And what are we doing? Column and four lines. Okay, chapter 9 of book 10. Said, yeah, but now, fartis, plural, ad mover bantor, passive, uh, Macedonium gentai bella civil war. So here we've got a civil war of the Macedonian races being moved by fartum, by fate. Um, Namet, for also, insociable as regnum. So having a kingdom is insociable. Uh, Means you don't want to have close allies or sharing of the um of your kingdom. At a pluribus and by many, expetiba. It is sought by many. So as Alexander was one king, uh, the fates really don't want that to be um without strife. So there's all this bella civil war of the Macedonians that's going to happen. Primum first, ergo therefore then. Cogito ergo sum, everyone knows that one. Vires, which is the third declension, which is strength. So first then, the forces had a conlisere, they collided, a collision. They went clashed together. And day in day, then, they dispersed around it, then they dispersed. So they, they collided and then scattered and dispersed. Et cum pluribus corpus. So a corpus is a body, and a body, uh, quam capibat, uh, with the things which it had taken was on a race which was burdened, uh, cum pluribus with m with many things it looks like with pluribus lots of things, uh, the catra membra the rest of the limbs, coeperunted they began taking the infinitive to be deficient to deficere to give out, mm, uh, quad qui imperium and so what imperium what power, sub uno which under one poduisset had been able to stare to stand. Uh, Dormai pluribus, while it was under many, sustinera, okay, so it was um, sustained or held up, and it ruled, it collapsed, so um, an imperium which was able to stand under one, uh, but while it was being sustained by many, it collapsed, it fell. Proindi, so then, you're a merito qui, by right and merit, Mer merito is an adverb, um, the populus romanos, Roman people, um, apposition, 
Salutem se prinsawe sue debre profit. So, um, even though populus romanus is singular, it represents a lot of people, so it's just going to be singular here. But the Roman people will confess that they owe their salutem, their safety, to principo sue, to their leader, which is uh, usually an emperor or something, in later times. Qui, qui noctis, who, um, of the night, quam paini, which was almost, paini is almost, the supreme, um, supremem noctis maybe, which was almost their last, habawimis, which we consider was almost their last, a novum sidus, um, sidus sidera is a third neuter, I'm guessing, which is why the novum um, in, in lux it means was shining. So that little block there was so just as by right and merit or deservedly so, the Roman people owe the, their safety, they say, to their leader, who and almost they had their last night, um, they now have a new star shining. Who is of which Hercules by Hercules uh, non solus, not of the sun, Ortus Lucam Caliganti, that looks dative, it's the same to male, female, and neuter. So, Redditor, that gave back a light. Um, Caligo is more like a foggy, misty, cloudy type of thing. Monday can be universal of the world, but looks like a year. Um, of this light that was shining, it was not of the sun which arose, but um, returned light to the world. Oh, these, these are probably both datives. Um, to a cloudy world. Corn when sine suo capi, without its head, uh, the membra, which was um, the plural of the limbs, they were in trepidation or in fear and in discordia, uh, confusion basically. Finally done. Quot illi tum extinxit faces. Faces are torches or firebrands. So we've got quot how many, illi is the uh, pronoun. Uh, so then how many torches did it extinct, put out? And it's not a question. It must be rhetorical because it's not a question mark. How many gladios condit? How many um, swords are put away? Quantum tempestem. How much of a storm? Sabata serenite discusset. Discusset means look, shake off or shook off. With sudden serenity. How much of a tempest or storm was um, cast off? Mm. Non ergo. Revis we revisc it. The verb solum. Said etiam florit imperium. Is so that short enough? So non solar means not only, ergo then, um, I'm guessing imperium is going to be the subject. Did the empire reviresca, which means gone green again basically, it's like a, it's springtime. So not only did it revive, um, what come, but even etiam it florid, it uh, flourished. Yeah, so you could say the imperium revived and it even flourished. Absit comes from absum, modo. So if only NVIDIA, which is hatred or envy, should be absent, uh, be away. Excipient, it should take. Who is Sacula Tempora Eustum? Same house of the, such, a, such an era of such a time. Utanem, would that? Uh, would that it be perpetual? Would it be perpetual? The um, Curte Dicina Posterity. So we've got post posterity here. So would it um, receive, excipiate the uh, posterity of the same house of the same time? Would it be perpetual? And certainly, Dietuna means uh, going for a long time. Would this posterity go? And we'll pick it up tomorrow.